Hi, I'm Randy Fine, and thank you for tuning into my Randy Fine YouTube channel. I am a narcissistic abuse expert, a coach to clients worldwide. I am the host of the acclaimed podcast, um, which just came in third as the best healing podcast to listen to in 2021. It's called A Fine Time for Healing. And I'm the author of two books. So today I really wanna to talk to you about, I, I wanna give you kind of a warning and kind of red flags to look for because I've been doing this work a long time and um, it's the only work I could ever do because I am so invested in it and I want people to heal. So, there are people out there that, you know, since narcissistic abuse has gotten to be this popular topic, especially on YouTube, there are people that are capitalizing on this and they're sucking you in in ways that you may not realize. And uh, some of them are narcissists. You know, narcissists exist in pretty every, every area of life, but there are many psychologists and psychiatrists who are narcissists, other doctors who are narcissists. There are coaches out here who are narcissists pretending that they are not and trying to help you uh, recover. So it's important that I point these things out. And there are a couple of people out there that really uh, keep me up at night. So because I know they're hurting people. So let me give you kind of a list of the things to look out for when you are trusting a mental health professional in this arena. So first of all, the person should be healthy-minded. Um, you'll get that feeling. Are they relaxed? Are they balanced? Do they seem interested? Are they thoroughly resolved in their own issues? Or is this platform about one of their issues and they're just going hog wild with it. Um, anybody that has a platform that is or seems vindictive, retaliatory, um, or really basically a great big narcissistic smear campaign, that's a big red flag. And anybody that promises you an exact outcome, that tells you they have the way to do this. You know, it's one thing to tell people, to, to have people have confidence in you and say, you know, I can help you heal. You know, yes, I know how to do that. But when somebody says, this is the method for everybody, this is what you do. Um, that's not right because everybody's different. Every situation is different. Uh, anybody that has a celebrity endorsement, you know, reliable, authentic mental health professionals and coaches don't need endorsements. Their work stands for themselves. And when they have endorse endorsements, it is a marketing tool meant to suck you in because there's been studies that show, let's see what it says. The review of economics literature showed that celebrities can catalyze herd behavior and help distinguish endorsed items from competitors. So it's a very strong marketing tool uh, to have a celebrity endorsement. It's just not kosher. It doesn't, it's just not right. I mean, if you examine people who are doing this work, nobody has a celebrity endorsement, but there is one particular person on uh, doing this work that, that does. And um, so understand that narcissists abound everywhere, but they are largely in the mental health profession. And if you have been uh, a victim of narcissistic abuse, you are very vulnerable to these people and you won't be able to see that they are in fact narcissists 
posing as somebody that has that's there genuinely to help you. Um, anybody that tells you that there is no such thing as narcissistic victim syndrome, no such thing as parental alienation, because there absolutely is scientific evidence that proves parental alienation. Um, and anybody that doesn't validate your experience or diminishes your experience or doesn't give you that feeling of strong support. Um, many mental health professionals have large followings, but they don't boast about it. They don't promote it. So if you have somebody out there that is just boasting about you know, how much they do and how big they are and it's blowing up and it's so popular, um, that's not right. Something is wrong with that. Because if you uh, just look at all the different people that you see that are talking about narcissistic abuse on YouTube and you'll see these people don't have that not because they couldn't, but because it's unethical to do so. Um, yeah, anything that feels cult-like, like everybody's jumping on this bandwagon. This person has the formula. They have the formula and people are just following it because they want the formula. Not right. Anybody that's asking you to be secretive about your situation, you know, that's entirely unnecessary because we are supposed to be confidential with all information. And it's up to us to decide if somebody is really having the problem or if they're just trying to feel us out. Um, but this whole, um, you know, trying to be secretive on Facebook or, or create some kind of secret way to get in to talk to this person, that's hokey. Um, I wrote a book. I think my book is legitimate. I believe I'm legitimate. Uh, but just because somebody writes a book and it's popular does not mean that person is legitimate. Anybody can do that. And when you're reading what this person wrote, um, the book should be about you, not about them. So if you're reading this book and there's a lot of I, 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 probably a narcissist. Anybody that's trying to become like an overnight celebrity, they're just everywhere and doing everything. You know, it takes people years to get to that place. People don't become, in this field, people don't become overnight sensations. Um, so a person has to really work for that. They have to build up their reputation. And that takes time. So I just wanted to really point these things out to you because I don't want you to get caught up with somebody who's going to take you in the wrong direction. And these people who are doing this are seriously hurting other people. And that just bothers me to the core because I do this because I want to help you. And each person that comes to me is different. I don't have a list of referrals on my website. I don't tell you uh, these are the therapists to go to. I don't tell you that these are the, the, the attorneys to go to because I want to evaluate you and your situation and base how I help you on what you need, 
So if somebody has all these recommendations, especially for attorneys on their website, that's really scary. Um, so just be really careful with what you do here and make sure that you're following people who are authentic and who are really in this to help you. Um, not themselves. And so these are some red flags to look for. And I hope that you really, really uh, take them to heart and pay attention because there are masses of people getting sucked in to um, these charlatans. And I feel really bad about that. And I'm hoping that we can stop this. So that's kind of why I'm here today. Anyway, thank you for listening to me today. Um, and I hope I helped you in some way. My name is Randy Fine. This is the Randy Fine YouTube channel. And I hope that you will like this video, share it and follow me. Let me know, leave me comments. Let me know what you think about what I say. And you can leave me comments about what you'd like to hear me say, or what you want me, topics you want me to talk about. So, um, be a little bit interactive with my page and let's let's get this shared um it's been great talking to you today i'll see you soon have a great day bye-bye